Hi, this is Pete Stoll from Evans Waterless Engine Coolant's tech support team. Today's Evans High Performance Tech Tip is about radiator caps. A lot of people ask if, us if they need to make a change to the radiator cap when they install Evans Waterless Coolant in their car. The answer is generally no, but there are some exceptions that I want to tell you about. For example, we have this is a downflow radiator, this particular one from an old MG. In this type of radiator, the cap location is in the upper tank, which is the pressure tank on this type of a core. It's very close to where the incoming coolant comes from the engine into the tank, so this, this cap location does see a lot of pressure. A typical system might have a 13 to 16 PSI cap here. If you change the car to Evans waterless engine coolant, you're going to have a great deal less steam vapor in this location, but you can still have a lot of liquid under certain operating conditions, high RPM operation, or if it's a little too full to start with, you can get liquid pushing up on the cap. For that reason, the most downflow applications, we don't recommend you put a lower system pressure cap on. Keep a normal cap, keep a overflow hose to a uh, catch can or a recovery bottle, keep that functional, but you will find much, much less activity between this and a catch can with the waterless coolant because we don't have a continual need to hold that much pressure on it. This is a, down, or a cross flow radiator, aluminum. This one from a Plymouth Prowler. Uh, this is a little bit different situation. The cap location is on the suction tank. This is the side which sees the cooler coolant, reduced pressure from the coolant traveling across the core, and also the water pump is acting on this to pull fluid from it. This cap location sees much less pressure in general than the downflow does. In this scenario, if you wanted to, you could put, let's say, a 7 PSI cap here instead of a typical 13 to 16. Uh, no great change in system operation if you do that. You still want to maintain a overflow or a recovery bottle to catch any coolant that might go out the cap, but generally there'd be very little activity because, uh, especially with Evans, because we don't have hardly any pressure in the system from steam vapor, you can expect that the coolant fill level will remain very stable, very consistent, and you could basically fill it and forget it. Um, if you have any further questions about radiators, caps, or anything else that pertains to your application, please give us a call at 888-990-2665 or email us at tech at evanscooling.com. Thanks for watching.